Let's head for the news now and in our first story. The tests conducted on 10 major rivers across the country have revealed high levels of dangerous heavy metals. The Odin and Cobra, Tano, Ofin, and six others presented dangerous levels of lead, arsenic, chromium, and cadmium. Almost all major rivers and streams across the country are highly polluted by irresponsible mining. Erasta Sasaridonko has excerpts in his latest documentary, Poisoned for Gold. The milky brown color of the rivers and streams flowing across the country indicate suspended particles, including poisonous heavy metals. Two years ago, residents of Ewusiejo in the Ahanta West district of the Western region were drinking the polluted water, but soon they started experiencing strange afflictions, as recounted by Theodora Yamwa, a nurse in charge of the town's chips compound. Some of them came here with frequent urinating and also burning sensation when they are urinating. And also some came with skin rashes. We fetched samples from the Tano, Brim, Butri, Ofing, Anuru, Ankobra, Pra, and other polluted sources of water to be tested for heavy metals at the Sheath Laboratory of the KNUST's Chemistry Department. After a week of testing, the results were in. For standard sake, we use the World Health Organization standards. The World Health Organization pegs the acceptable standard for arsenic at 0.0050 milligrams per liter, while the US and Ghana pegs it at 0.010 milligram per liter. The Oda, Brim, Pra, Ankobra, Enuru, Ofin, Ashri, Butri, Subri, and Tano registered between 0.216 and 0.444 milligrams per liter, which is 0.434 milligrams higher than acceptable levels. This is 20.6 to 55.6 percent higher than acceptable levels in water using the American and Ghanaian standards. Dr. Eugene Ansa explains the test results. All these water samples that are coming from our water bodies in Ghana were found to be acidic in nature, that is having a pH less than 7. It means that it has got a corrosive effect and whenever you drink it you have irritations in the truth. Drinking waters are expected to be neutral. In terms of toxic metals, lead was ranked as the highest toxic metal present in all these water samples and should anybody drink this water or even swim in these waters then they are exposed to high levels of lead the other metals include chromium cadmium and arsenic and all these samples could not pass the quality standards now with our next story upper west regional minister dr hafiz bin sali has reiterated government's commitment to ensuring that terrorists and their elements are warded off from the country he explains the government is aware of their threats and has initiated the Gulf of Guinea Social Cohesion Project in order to economically liberate the people from the trappings of these terrorist groups. Rafiq Salam reports from WA. The Gulf of Guinea Northern Region Social Cohesion Soko Project seeks to contribute to the prevention of conflict spillover from the Sahelian countries by improving the social and economic resilience of the targeted northern region and strengthening regional dialogue across the Gulf of Guinea countries. The project is being funded by the World Bank with an amount of 450 million United States dollars and implemented in four countries, namely Ghana, Ivory Coast, Togo, and Benin. Ghana will receive 150 million US dollars 
out of the total amount earmarked for the project. 48 municipalities and districts in the northern Gulf of the country are benefiting from the project. In the Upper West region, all 11 municipalities and districts have been enrolled into the project. Upper West Regional Minister Dr. Hafiz Bin Sali at a short ceremony to hand over 52 motorbikes, 15 laptops, and five pickups to five MDAs, Soko Zonal Office, and the Upper West Regional Coordinating Council noted that the Soko project is a game changer, pledging the support of the Upper West RCC to make it successful. It will liberate our people economically so that they are not entrapped to go to be attracted to do things that will go against the sovereignty of our nation. As you may be aware, terrorists are knocking on our doors and if people, young people are there and they don't have anything to do, then they can be lured to do things that will go against their communities and indeed the entire country. Soko Zonal Coordinator for the Upper West and Savannah regions, David Yenke, disclosed that the various beneficiary districts have so far awarded six or seven projects and is hopeful that work will begin before the end of the month. Right now, uh, the 11 districts in Upper West region have outlined and have started awarding 67 sub-projects. Mm -hmm. And these 67 sub-projects are supposed to be um, started latest by close of this month. There are no contractors have received their award letters. And so these equipment and vehicles that we have seen here are actually going to facilitate implementation and monitoring of this sub-project so that we ensure that those critical infrastructure that we are seeing, we want to uh, the, the community people to get will be delivered according to the prescriptions and prescriptions of the World Bank and the Ministry. Though the project is yet to fully start, one municipal chief executive, Alaji Sakutai Rumumen, on behalf of colleague MDCEs, is hopeful that the project will achieve its intended purpose. All the intended projects under this SOCO are all tailored towards the needs of the people because need assessments were made from the communities and from the people and they told us exactly what they want in their communities and that is exactly what we are doing. Reporting for the news, Rafik Salam. Wah! Now to promote proper hand washing among school going children. The Techiman Municipal School Health Education uh, Program Unit of the Ghana Education Service has together with the Ghana Health Services held an educational program with some selected schools in the Sansama community. The SHEP coordinator, Mary Wuntima, says this will create awareness of the benefits of hand washing and raise the students' ability and confidence in washing hands at school, which would ultimately minimize infections among children. And Asabit has more. The outbreak of the COVID-19 pandemic necessitated unprecedented, significant and sustained infection prevention and control measures to reduce the risk of exposure and prevent transmission. Aggressive hand washing with soap and the running water was among the various prevention protocols adapted to mitigate the spread of the pandemic. This hand washing protocol health experts say reduces the transmission of microorganisms increases patient safety and decreases healthcare associated infections. Sadly, however, rigorous hand washing as seen in the era of the COVID-19 pandemic is slowly fading away, a situation that exposes many to several health risks. Techman Municipal School Health Education Program Coordinator Mary Wuntuma, who as part of the Global Hand Washing Day instituting measures capable of sensitizing school children within the Sansama community on the need to adopt hand washing with soap and the running water as a way of life. After COVID, it looks as if we have reduced the hand washing. And you agree with me, when COVID came, a lot of diseases especially diarrhea in Ghana, Corilla, you, you never heard of it. And it was just because of proper hand washing. That is why we, act, we decided to come to San Sama, so that we'll educate the children how to wash their hands properly. And as they go back and their parents will, who will come from the farm, they will also 
then give them the information of how to wash their hands properly and all the time. She was quick to have admonished corporate institutions to reintroduce Veronica packets at their premises and make hand washing part of their respective protocols. So I think that in our banks and other uh, institutions, we should be able to bring back Veronica buckets. So let's, our, uh, our uh, institutions should keep on encouraging people to wash their hands by providing soap, water, and then uh, tissue for all the customers who come around to wash their hands. So we all live healthy. Chief of the area, Nana Afna Yabwa, who acted as the chairman of the occasion, promised to serve as an ambassador for hand washing and is hopeful that the act, if adopted, will help minimize infections across the area. We are going to campaign, in fact from here, we are going to the Paris to campaign to the people, to the communities. A young festival, a poor festival, whatever it is, we are now going to inculcate it into our system so that wherever we meet, people will know the essence of washing hands or cleaning hands. So when that is done, definitely we are going to reduce disease and germs in our society. So we are going to do that. We will make sure that that is done in our various Paris and whole so that people will adopt that. Assemblyman for Sansama Electoral Area, Nuhu Abdrazak, also emphasized that the move fits into his sanitation project and noted that enough education will be carried out to help sensitize the populace. Being a stakeholder of this uh, community, I'm going to take it right away from you. Already I started doing something and this one to us also come to join. That means it is going to be a process, not an event. And that is to say that right from here, any occasion where I will have the chance, I will be educating the people the continuous uh, way of washing hands before eating. And that is why, you know, if you want to speak to God, you speak to the children. We've just started with the children. This year's Global Hand Washing Day was marked under the theme, Clean Hands Are Within Reach. And I submit Joy News. Teach me. Now, in our final story, on five consecutive occasions, the Presbyterian Boys SHS has reached the finals of the National Science and Math Quiz. They beat Infantipim School and Keta SHS in a heated battle of intellect. Jacqueline and Sumayabwa caught up with the schools after the contest. Contest with the seven time champion that is Presec Legon, um, leading with some 44 points. But um, let me move to um, we have Keta Senior High School. They were very optimistic right now. Keta, now how, how are you feeling right now, knowing that you put up quite an impressive performance today? Okay, for us, God has taken us very far when we even least expected it. So, all what we want to say is we thank God for taking us this far, and it is what it is. Next Next year, we are coming back stronger, and we are thanking God for how far He has made this contest. Thank you very much. Okay, all right. What about you? Oh, okay. I hope you are, you are not down. You are you no, okay no, no, with your no, 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 no. I am not. I am not at all because you could see that the contest is such a beautiful one. Yeah, these are big schools coming together. Even though uh, it didn't end how we expected and all, but we are we are we are very proud of our guys. They did very well. You also you could see eight nine eight nine eight nine. So what, what should we expect from Keta next year? We are coming for the trophy. See, when we, be, when we began, we left it in the hands of God. And next year, too, everything is still in the hands of God. So and we are coming for the trophy. No problem. That's the promise? Yes. We are yeah, that's the promise. We are coming strong next year. We are coming strong next year. Don't worry. So that is um, students, all students and students from Keta Senior High School. But I am here with um, the winners themselves, that is Presec Legon, and they won this contest with some um, 44 points. Um, I believe you are a trainer, you are part of the trainers. How are you feeling right now? Big relief, a very big relief. You know, Infante Pem nearly gave you a run for your money. I realized you were all praying. H how were you feeling at that moment? Me, at that when moment, Infante Pem was leading? At that moment where... I was praying. I just felt this sense of peace around me. And then, like, I just had to keep praying because I didn't want to... I mean, anything I saw could have happened. And then we trusted God that God is going to give us this victory. So I, have to, so I just had to still keep my trust in me and not lose my faith, even though things were not going as planned. So I just like to thank God for everything. I just like to thank God for everything. I mean, it's a very big relief. I mean, being in the finals five consecutive times is a big relief. And I like to thank God for everything. Thank you. 
moving forward, we are just a step away to the finale. What should we expect from your boys? Nothing but the best from God. So you are an old student, right? How are you feeling right now? I'm feeling so happy. I'm so happy. This gives me nostalgia. It's like last year's finals. I mean, at the start, we knew that Infant Prime would give us a good contest. And I'll say to those today, they actually gave us a good contest. But we proved to them that we are the reigning champions. Yes. Now, I realized at a point you were all praying yes. because it became very tight at a point. We realized that Infant Prime was leading. Personally, I thought today wouldn't be your day. But then you guys pull through. At that point, when the scores were close, how were you feeling then? Honestly, were you scared? Honestly, honestly, I was very scared. I was very scared, but we know that this year, our mantra is our God is great. So we're clinging on to that mantra, and at the end of everything, God proved himself worthy for us. Yes, so we are very happy. Yeah. Okay, so these two gentlemen, I spoke to them earlier. How are you feeling right now? Hmm. I can't you are sweating. I'm sweating. It's the love of Prisek. You know, we always believe in God to deliver for us. I told you earlier in the interview that it's not by our might, it's not by our power, it's not by our intelligence, but by the grace of God that helps us to win. And that is what you have done. Yeah. Well, you are meeting Ashimota. You are meeting Owas. What should we expect from you? you are we clinging onto the trophy this time around? You see, there's an agenda ongoing that every young man and woman should learn. Presec, we've always said that we trust in God. And when you trust in God, this is the kind of results you are going to see. And so we are telling every young man, every woman, young woman out there that, look, just put your trust in God. Put in the hard work. Be diligent. And then excellence will be count. Excellence will be your portion. At Shemota and Opokuwari, we are going back to do our homework. We are going back to work hard because it's not over. We are taking the eighth trophy. Eighth is written. And we believe in a great God. And we know that our God is faithful. And so we are taking the A trophy. So we are going to do our hard work and we'll meet them at the National Theatre. Okay, all right. These are still students um, from Presec Legon. And just as I said, um, currently they are the um, school with the highest scoring point 44 points in the semi finals, um, with Achimota having some 41 points. Point. So they are still leading the semi-finals. Um, they led um, also in the quarter-finals, that is for um, Presec Legon. They are still leading the path. Um, the big question remains that which of these three schools um, would be winning this year?